What's up, YouTube? I'm Mr. No Name, or Max, as people know him in the real world, and today I'm bringing you guys a wagers match on Sovereign. It's a 3v3, and I'm just bringing you guys, like, four of the rounds or so that I did really well in, in the, including the final round, which is really dumb because one of my teammates decides, let's do it 2v3, even though it's 5-5, five, five. so... It's interesting, enjoy it in the background, but anyway, today's video is going to be another story, and this time, if you haven't already read the title, it's a rather embarrassing story, and I don't even, oh, I'm freaking out sharing it, because it's so embarrassing, like, I'm blushing so hard right now, but, oh god, okay, alright, I'm gonna do it. So, this story takes place when I was 16, um, I was not out yet at the time as gay or anything so it's not like anybody actually knew this but um basically around this time i was still forced to go to church and i didn't want to but you see it's me and my brother and we're supposed to go there for the youth service and then the worship service right it's two different services and we we can't get out of the worship service because we're going to be next to our mom during that one but we could get out of the youth service by doing my ingenious plan now my brother didn't really want to do it because he was nervous we were going to get caught. He was the smart one here, and I was not. But um, anyway, I convinced him to do it because I couldn't let him go to the youth service and then me hide out because then, you know, the youth pastor would be like, okay, well, where's your brother at? Like, why isn't he here? And then questions could start being asked. So I convinced him to hide out with me. So what we did is we went into the restroom, and there's two stalls and two urinals. So obviously we can't hide out in the urinals because that'd just be silly. But so we and we can't take up both stalls because then what if somebody actually needs to use one of the stalls? So we got ourselves into the one big stall and hid out together. And our plan was to just have one person, like if somebody walked in, to have one person sitting on the toilet, not with their pants down, just sitting on the toilet to you know look right, and then have the other person hide their feet because there's like a little bit of a wall there that we can kind of hide it on. And so that's what we were doing, and um, it worked for a few times. There were a couple people that came in and nothing happened, or at least as far as I know, they didn't know. Maybe they were just too freaked out to say anything, because as it turns out, a little bit later on, there's a guy that walks in, he does his business, and he's washing his hands, and all of a sudden, while he's washing his hands still, he starts talking to us, and I, I remember just freezing. He's like... I know you guys are in there. And then after that, I cannot remember any specifics of what he said. All I know is that I remember that he was saying something about something gay going on. And that he was like, he was like lecturing us on it because it's like the sanctity of the church or something like that. And I, but I just remember freezing and I was so freaked out. And I remember me and my brother were just looking at each other and we're like, Oh my god, what is going on? All the color drained from our faces. Like, we were freaked out. But, luckily, the guy left. And at the time, we had no idea who he was. We didn't know if he was a congregation member or a pastor or what. So, we were freaking out. Because, like, this is not a liberal church, okay? This is a conservative church where it's not, like... Especially since they thought it was something gay going on. It could have been really bad. So, we were freaking out. Like, what if he goes and gets other people and brings them back and, like beats us up or takes us out and humiliates us or something. So we were freaking out. So we decided to leave the bathroom just like nonchalantly. And we were just like walking around and mingling with the crowd. And we were just watching the bathroom doors kind of out of the corner of our eyes. And he never came back or anything. So we we're like, okay. And there was only like 10 minutes left before the next service. So we went back and finished, you know, hiding for those last few minutes. And then we go out and we go with our mom and act like everything's perfectly normal for the worship service. Well, it turns out the guy was actually a deacon or a pastor, I can't remember which, but one of the two, you know, a higher up in the church that had caught us uh, doing gay things in the bathroom, which we weren't, we were just hiding out, but he figured out who we were and he talked to my mom about it and she wound up um, letting him know, no, it wasn't gay stuff, they were hiding out because they don't want to go to church. So at least it got clarified at some point, but oh my god, it was so embarrassing, especially since I actually am gay, so like, I'm, I'm sure at least the pastors know that now, because my mom still goes to that church, so it's kind of awkward, and I will never do something that stupid again, hopefully, 
because it really sucks when you get caught like that. But anyway, guys, as you can see, we're coming to the end of this video. If you enjoyed it, then please like, comment, and or subscribe. If you didn't, then let me know what I can do better next time. Constructive criticism goes a long way, guys. Until next time, everybody, peace out.